Yeah. So we start with the conversation that today we have heard these words being thrown around like collaboration. However, we also know that social sector has been growing since 2020 I think uh, there has definitely been an improvement uh, but at the same time I feel uh, as a society we are also uh, putting gender to jobs very unintentionally into certain conversations uh, I have worked in the education sector very actively we constantly see a lot of women in the education space uh, we t- we tend to see a lot of fundraising professionals ha- from a certain gender teachers from a certain gender so i would say that there is still a long way to go when it comes to inclusivity of all genders and inclusivity at all levels when it comes to uh, uh, equity because uh, i feel the world will become a better place when we have more teachers who are male when we have more uh, people working on the field who are women we also have uh, generally not assigned genders to certain kind of jobs uh, but at the same time i feel that the sector is opening up and the sector is openly looking at diversity of talent and diversity of skill sets when they are hiring and uh, absorbing people i think this is the best time for corporate sector or non social sector background people to even look at social sector but not just look at it from a volunteering point of view but also engage and potentially play a role in the larger betterment of the society so when you talk about that it's time for the sectors to now bring in and collaborate with social sector do you think it's now mostly because how the social sector is moving that is related to the youth or do you think it's purely the collaborative spirit which is driving them and i i have a very weird connotation to this uh, i think since covid we as a world and we as a society are now redefining what sectors mean earlier pre pre this very bad illness slash pandemic uh, we used to call sectors into two parts social and corporate but i think going forward people are now going to divide the sectors into two parts social and anti social so you need to have a social cause socially you need to be socially aware socially active if you need to just exist and you can't be a corporate entity but not be socially aware so i think in this time and in this period or moment in time we need to have a social point of view and not just just think or talk about the social cause but also implement and work towards it uh, last question when we talk about capacity building how do you think we can take this way to the variety or to the intersectionality of the echelons that exist in society and not just to the privileged ones who have the access to it? i think a lot can be done uh, it's not easy uh, and uh, at the same time i feel capacity building needs to be happening at all levels i think what we did today and what we aim to do in other summits and conferences we want to constantly build the dialogue around capacity building at all levels at all sections uh, we as arthan are also looking at tier 2 tier 3 cities as possible venues and possible impact spokes where we can continue this dialogue and at the same time uh, i would also urge institutions organizations from every corner of india and south asia to reach out and look out for potential collaborations with arth i very like to what was your favorite quote from today's various discussions that something you're going to take home i think what mr dogra said pretty early uh, in his keynote was a uh, social sector offers a plethora of learning and it offers or helps you connect with great people and and great people when you work with them provide you with a hose of knowledge hose pipe of knowledge rather which sometimes is so difficult to absorb and take and uh, and i think that's the privilege that one can have when they work in the impact sector